Who's ready to get your fill of risk? I'm Phil. I'm a top grandmaster playing risk global domination. On my channel, we talk strategy. So for tips, tricks, and techniques, subscribe and follow. Today, I am playing uh, progressive with some viewers from my stream. And um, we're playing progressive on Pangea. So we will check out what they are after we look at the game. World Dom, Auto, 60 Seconds, Expert AI, Unranked because it's a play with friends game, Progressive, Balance Blitz, No Filtering of Rank, uh, Alliances are all fogs off, but Blizzards are on. Cabo Gamer is green. It's a novice account. Four hours in, one and three. No online games. It's one and three. So you beat somebody you know. General Kuravilla is a master account, 36,634, 131 hours, and 41 and 160. Good, good. BJ Narktiker is also a master, so a couple of masters in the game, 99 hours. And um, 83 and 129. I guess I did do two games on Pangea tonight. I'll spread them out in my YouTube. I, I'm already YouTube got my YouTube ready through Friday. The Amazing Mr. O, three masters. 83 hours in, 39 and 69. And this is the Evil Peanut, is the Amazing Mr. O. Getting close to Grandmaster. Why pretend? So this is why pretender. And we have an intermediate, 162,537. And we're looking at nine and 23. Okay, very cool. I guess I was feeling Pangea -y today. So this map, the holdable ones are Oceania and Antarctica. And play with friends, you might hold them. A lot of times in Global Dom, people fight over them. You have your two plus fives in South America and North America. Africa and Asia, I've never seen anybody hold plus 11 for Africa and plus 9 for Asia. I have seen Europe holds for plus 6. Okay. It looks like I, I have like... Did I add everything there? That was actually not what I wanted to do. It looks like I have maybe like a two position play. So I'm going to try to do northwest and kind of southeast. And next turn, I'm going to slowly migrate these two positions together is my plan. As long as they're not blocked from each other. But maybe, maybe green busts my position or doesn't let me. And progressive. Cabo Gamer, why would you get a, a three? In progressive, you want to have multiple spots in multiple different sides of the map. And you want to do that so that you can, when, when the card values get high, you can attack and kill people and also keep yourself alive. Yeah, that was a that was an interesting attack. Now they accept my. That's fine. You know what? If you don't hit anything else, we're cool. I wouldn't want to have to one v one and let everybody else win. But we're cool. We'll see what they do. Yes, progressive is all about eating opponents rather than continents. Continents can help. Continents can keep you alive long enough that, like, if you don't have a trade later, you might be able to stay alive and still um, get second or third. Um, but fighting for continents and global domination is not a good idea. 
usually, depending on the map, everything has an asterisk, right? Depending on the map. But progressive is is generally um, about cards, board placement, and then eating people when you can. This map, generally, people only hold the plus twos on the side. So I'm trying to keep these positions alive. And in progressive, okay, so when you're playing progressive and play with friends, hitting a three, like Green did, I don't think they were meaning to target me. We'll see. Like if they if they if they hit like another stack again, then of course they are. But hitting a three is generally like you don't do that when you have a one. You don't generally make two attacks. Uh, you usually take one attack on a one and get a card. So this bonus that it looks like green's going for, which I'm not sure that they are, you have to have all this plus all this. You have it's very distributed and there's lots of of ways to break. So that's why I've never seen anybody hold it. Africa, I mean, if you look at all the borders on Africa that as well and Europe is rare South America and North America every few games I see someone hold it I think I'm just going to leave my five there oops what did they do yeah that two is gone so the blue can have this continent I'm going to move a four around. I'm going to add to the four and move it around and then have these two positions be my strong positions. You ally with people so you can talk to them and play with friends. It's expected that we're going to kill each other for our cards. Um, but you still ally with them so that you can all talk to each other. Like nobody in a progressive game thinks that having an alliance means you're gonna go to the end, not you know, play with friends lobby. Okay, so pink is distributed pretty well. I'm liking I'm liking pink's game. Move this just to the left one. And that's my whole turn. I like where my um, orange eight is because it has a bunch of attacking lanes. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It would have had eleven. It's a good spot. Green traded early, so the card values go up. They go six, eight, ten. They, that was a four. Oh, I have a new one. This is my new one. I've been waiting for either that or the dab for a long time, and I got this one today. Yeah, but I can, uh, the dab hasn't showed up. I've wanted the dab for months, and it hasn't showed up as available. Okay. At least I won't be the first trade. By the time someone gets Africa or Asia, they've spent enough troops for it and they'll never get to hold it. Like no one's gonna let them hold it. So they're gonna make themselves weaker and then the card values will be high enough, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 20, 25, that someone will eat them. And then usually they have to put themselves in one straight line in order to do that. So that's why you don't see the, the bigger continent holds.
I'm also not adding here because if green does hit it, like, I don't want to lose the game because a third of my armies get taken. Georgie Re... Georgia Retian. Georgia Retian 90. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? I hope I said that right. Wow. Okay, yellow is pretty spread out. They're not super far west, but they're far enough. Um, and they have one, two, three, four positions, so I'd like it. I have one, two, three basic positions because this is all... If you look at this, it's all one spot. This is all one spot, and that's one spot. So I'm okay with three positions. Let's see, pink is one, two, three, four. Not very far southeast, east, or northwest, but They've done a good job with what they were dealt. I think this is the proper hit. I lost one on that. So if I go further south, I start closing off the lane. You can go over these sea lanes as well, these lines that go around. So see, blue and yellow, um, even though they're only getting a plus two, they're putting themselves in a good position by holding the plus two in order to take the game eventually. Or not take the game, but stay alive long enough that maybe people don't kill them for their cards when they could have, but they don't hold it. And in Global Dom, usually holding these two plus twos over here means people are going to slam into you. So it's a trap. The honey trap. Now maybe I punch out with this eight. My favorite map on progressive is this one. Uh, I have done really well on when I play global dom on Earth 2209. And also um, when I got YouTube partners playing that, so I kind of have a, a happy feeling about that one. So um, Earth 2209 is cool as well. Um, it's probably my best um, global dom progressive map, to be honest. This one's good too. And then, but Turkey, anything, any map is like, you know, big. If you can click fast, you get, a, you get a distinct advantage. Because if you're in trouble, you can take a lot of board and survive to the next card. So, which I don't think is, I don't think it's a good part of the game design. Uh, last time I streamed, I kind of ranted about it a little. Um, but for fixed, I really like, I like the classic map. Here's why I like the classic map. It's not because I think it's the one that I would get the highest win rate on, which is why I, which is why I like Earth 229 and I like Pangea. But I like it because um, everybody knows it. So I don't feel like I'm beating people at like my game only. I can go down one. Gonna make that a 12. Make that a 13. So I like I like classic fix so much because I'm beating people at the most basic game that they all should know. I have that video coming out in a couple of days, maybe something like that. Yeah. Okay, so basically I ranted, because this, this will come out afterwards. Yeah, so basically I was sitting there before the game started and then during the game, 
talking about how I don't think that um, having it so that people with a distinct speed advantage because they have better technology, computers, good mouses, etc., is good for a strategy game. So I kind of went on a rant about it. And then uh, I beat somebody because of that reason. So I thought that was pretty funny. Okay. Cool. This one, I think he's talking about Thailand. I should be safe not having cards right now because no one can kill me and get me in turn. But if I don't have cards on four and somebody is good at progressive in the game, they probably eat me. It was a good discussion. Yeah. No. So basically, somebody could have cleared the board and killed me, but they could only take like a quarter, a third of the board, which I was able, in a whole turn, which I was able to trade in and take back completely. So I got the win only because I was faster than that person. If I don't have cards, you call me Mallory. Yeah. I'm willing to bet a lot of money that if you went through the amount of times that she had cards on four and didn't have cards on four, it would fall right into the, the, the standard, the regular deviation of having cards and not having cards. So, FYI. Interesting play. Pink trades. At this point in the game, what you should be doing is looking to see like who you can kill. And who can kill you and how likely it is that you will die before the next turn. So I am going to hit green because they said it was cool. I'm just going to take one territory. Here and then call it a day. Okay. Maybe I should move my 12 more to the center. I don't know. They're kind of equally spread. So it's pretty soon we should start seeing people die. Okay. To learn a you have to be in a good state of mind and have at least two hours free. I'd be interested in a 60 second turn plus an additional pool of 120 seconds. That's a good idea that you can use whenever you want. Pete, for example, when he commentates games, says things like, let's see if he's got the speed and if it's an eSports mechanic and it doesn't sit right with me, not saying he thinks it's right or not, but you understand my point. I've had conversations with him about it. I don't know what they just said. I've had conversations with him about it and, and, um, he, you know, he mentioned other possibilities. Cool. Okay, let's see how this turn goes for me.
they trade, which is smart. Trading keeps them alive. Whoa, what just happened? What did he do? Is he trying to kill somebody? Whoa. Thanks. Does pink win the game? Can pink turn this into a win? Pink only has four cards. Man, if I would have won that roll, that would have I think so. I think I got this. Not fast enough. It's gonna be close. I kill pink. No. I can't kill pink from here. Okay, let's see. You are green. Good job. Good game. I agree. Fade from dark. If it's an esport, it makes sense that better equipment should help. If it's a strategy game, it shouldn't matter. Let's see if what can you do. Are you feeding me? Are you feeding me to pink? Not a, yeah, probably not. Hey man, you're welcome. I, I I'm happy to have you. Cabo MC was green. It's hard to take the whole board. Good luck.
see what they can do. I have enough. I don't have enough. I just take board. See if pink has cards. I didn't have quite enough in the right spots. They kept themselves alive. That was good, a good turn for them. They're skipping. They're saying, you guys play the 1v1. I don't want any part of this. See what they do. They have to chase them down. They're fast, look at that. They're super fast. I get another turn. Get the big sack first. GG's. There you go. Very good. Do you think that was a risky kill? Maybe. Maybe. All right. Subscribe and follow.